Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about one line XNOR gate. The output is on when both inputs are the same, that is both 0 or both 1. XNOR gate can be implemented in only one line in EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. So, for XNOR gate, if both the inputs are same, either both the inputs are false or both the inputs are true. So, in, the, in these two cases, the outputs will be true. And when the inputs are different, that is, A is false and B is true or A is true and B is false. So, in these cases, when inputs are different, then the output Y will be false. So, we will move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram and implement XNOR gate in only one line. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASCII TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMH2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMH2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So firstly, I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, 
we will draw a typical ladder diagram to implement XNOR gate. So firstly, I will insert two normally open contacts and then two normally closed contacts in parallel to these two normally open contacts and then I will insert a coil and then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to the normally open contact as I I 0.0, I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.1 and I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. And then I will assign address to this as I 0.0 and symbol as B. So, I will also assign address to the coil as Q0.0 and I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So, for output Y to be on, either both A and B should be on or A and B should be off. So, both should be on or both should be off. So, in case if one is on and another is off, then Y will be off. So, out for output Y to be on, both the inputs should be in true state or false state. So, this is a typical diagram, ladder diagram to implement XNOR gate. So, I will start simulation and then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So, I will click on full screen mode. So, as you can see here, when both the inputs are false, so the current will flow through it and Y will be on. And in case when I turn on A, the output Y will be false. And then when I turn on B, the output Y will be false. And then when I turn on both the inputs, the output Y will be true. So I will exit full screen mode. I will stop simulator. And then I will delete this. Simply, I will delete the rung and then I will add a new rung. So, firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then here, XORN. Here. And then a coil. So, I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0 that is A and then I 0.1 which is B. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0 so, for output Y to be on, both the inputs should be false or both the inputs should be true. So, I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program and then I will start simulation. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So, as you can see here, when both the inputs are false, then the output is true. And when I turn on A, the output Y becomes false. And then when I turn on B, the output Y becomes false. And then when I turn on A and B, both, then the output Y will be true. So in this way, we can implement XNOR gate in only one line. It was all about this video. Thank you for watching.